everyone and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Celine and this is my channel, obviously. Uh, <laughs> and today I am going to take you through a day in my life, kind of. I'm going to spend the day at home and I'm going to show you what I do to kind of, you know, keep my life and my shit together and don't get bored and always you know, have something to do and yeah, keep my schedule going. Here in Germany, we're pretty lucky. We are allowed to go out, the shops reopened um, and we are allowed to hang out with people, only two people at a time, but still, I mean, you're allowed to meet people. You can go for walks and everything. But I decided for this video to not go out since many of you in other countries have to stay home and I kind of wanted to make this a helpful video, throw some tips in there, how you, you know, can create a schedule for you for each day and kind of have some rituals so that, yeah, as I said, you don't get bored and don't fall into depression because of boredom because let's face it it's really hard to stay at home all day for such a long period of time so yeah but i didn't want to talk about corona too much because i feel like everyone's talking about it and this um is supposed to be a happy and fun place so yeah i hope you enjoy the video and yeah see you I always start my mornings with some fresh lemon in hot water. It gets your metabolism going and it's also very refreshing. Then I go ahead and do my workout. On that morning I did the Pamela Reif dance workout. And I love working out in the morning. I feel like it gives you a lot of energy for the day. And I kind of really miss it when I do not work out. Also working out in the morning helps you burn fat cells also throughout the day so your body keeps burning after the workout since you didn't have breakfast yet so that's a plus point as well i'm going to link my favorite workouts down below for you guys so that you can check them out and they also include yoga which i also really like to do in the morning and then it's time to give olive something to eat because let me tell you if that little girl doesn't get her food then she can be a real pain in the ass and run around the apartment like a bee just stung her little butt. As an Italian, I actually usually put a maca on the stove in the morning because the coffee is just stronger and tastes better. It just takes longer. Um, so that's why I have the Nespresso machine so that during the day I can, you know, grab a quick espresso. But for some reason that morning, I chose to drink a long espresso coffee, which is also totally fine. I love it. I decided to use some oat milk for my coffee. Since it foams a little better than other milk, I do not drink lactose. I'm lactose intolerant, so it's either lactose-free milk for me or oat milk or I also love coconut milk. Then I spilled some foam on the table because I'm too stupid to hold a phone and to pour some milk into my coffee without spilling it. I like to put cinnamon in my coffee since it just tastes good and it also boosts your metabolism. Now one tip from me to you to kind of keep organized and especially in these times to have a schedule during the day that you can kind of hold on to. I use my 10 minute planner and right here you can like write down all the tasks for that day and things you want to do and little notes and appointments and so on and I feel like it really helps me to get some structure in and to actually get everything done. This planner also has like cute little quotes each day and in the bottom section you can always tick how your day was. It's like you can tick a box that says my day was great or what's not so great or things you achieved that day. So maybe that you ate healthy or you did your workout. So it's really motivating and at the end of the day you feel good about all the things you did and you accomplished. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, you can see a beautiful video of myself brushing my teeth and time-lapse. I actually drooled a little bit on my side in case you didn't notice. That's because I'm five and I don't know how to brush my teeth. Like literally every time I brush my teeth that happens and I don't know if I'm the only person on earth who's not capable of brushing her teeth properly at age 23. Then it was time to wash my 
face. I did that with a peeling that morning. I don't do that every day, but I just felt like it that day. Then I put some toner on and like some oils and creams and blah, blah, blah. Things that make my skin look pretty. And a gazillion years younger. So it practically makes me look like a dinosaur. I actually don't know how much a gazillion is. I don't know, maybe that's not even like, maybe earth didn't even exist, maybe the cream makes me look like a black hole, like the big bang itself, that would be pretty cool. Then before showering, I make my bed so that at night when I lay down it's all pretty and fluffy and I get excited and can get a good night rest. After showering, I went ahead and did my makeup and as some of you know, I don't really wear makeup for some reason. Maybe it was because I was filming that day or because I just felt like it. I decided to do my makeup, but as usually, I just went for a very natural look. So just some BB cream and some highlighter and just a teeny tiny little bit of contouring. And this was supposed to be like a final look shot, but I am not a beauty YouTuber and I really don't know how to do these. Then Olive helped me pick my outfit for that day, because let's face it, she's a real fashionista here in the family. Guys, I just wanted to quickly show you how I try to balance my phone to film on my bed and trying to like get an angle where you can see something but this is like I really need like a camera and a tripod so here you can see the outfit I chose for that day and all of looking the mirror I always try to be comfortable at home but to also wear something that I feel like looks cool and that I like and I just kind of discovered bootcut yoga pants for me because they're super, super comfortable and they make your leg look really good. And right here I'm wearing a shirt by Irene is good and I love this shirt. As you can see, it just says you good in the front and I'm good in the back. Then it was time for me to do some chores like taking out the dishes of the dishwasher and you know cleaning the kitchen etc and it's really really important that you keep your home um, tidied up and clean so that you can feel comfortable in it especially right now where you have to spend a lot of time at home just make sure that you feel at peace with the way your apartment or your home in general looks like so that you can also you know be in peace in yourself i am so happy and thankful that olive is with me right now and that i am not alone all day and i love how much she loves to cuddle and we just chill on the couch sometimes you know and don't do anything but cuddle and just share some love and i am so so happy and grateful she's so amazing and yeah it just makes me feel less lonely after cuddling it was time for a walk and the weather is amazing right now it's actually pretty warm i don't even know why i chose to put a leather jacket on because i was sweating so much it was so hot and all of she doesn't walk she runs all the time so it was really hot but we had a great time and a great walk in the park that is right by my house 
For lunch, I made a chickpea salad with tomatoes and cucumbers and avocado and some linseeds and just some pepper and salt and an Ayurveda spice mixture. As a proper Italian, after lunch I went ahead and made myself a short, strong espresso. Then it was time for me to take my vitamins. I usually take these in the morning, I just forgot that morning, so that's why I took them after lunch. I just take a vitamin complex to boost my immunity and collagen for my skin and also some hyaluronic acid. Then I did all my uni stuff and as probably all of you guys who are still in uni right now, we only have online courses, but I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming. I would prefer to be in uni right now since we have a lot of different platforms and websites where we can find our material and tasks on. So I try to make a plan for each week and each day what I have to do so I feel like it's more organized and I have a better overview of everything I have to do. Then I have some time left so I did some reading in my bed with a nice glass of white wine. For dinner I made some chickpea pasta with salmon and broccoli and actually I had some quite simple meals that day but that were super yummy so I'm going to put all the recipe into the description box so if you liked something you can do it at home and it's super quick and easy as I said. While my food was cooking, I made myself some celery juice that I really enjoy in the morning as well as in the afternoon. Then it was time to finish cooking my meal. After dinner, I made myself a cup of detox tea and I cuddled up with Olive on the couch watching uh, Catfish right here. And I'm totally obsessed with trash TV right now. It kind of keeps me going through quarantine and yeah. So that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.